Our second scripture in my gospel lesson this morning is from Matthew, the 17th chapter, verses 1 through 9. We've been hearing the story of the transfiguration through song and words, but now we will read these words, these verses from Matthew 17 here, the Word of God. Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter and James and his brother John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became dazzling white. Suddenly there appeared to them Moses and Elijah talking with him. Then Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, I will make three dwellings here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, suddenly a bright cloud overshadowed them. And from the cloud, a voice said, This is my son, the beloved. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell to the ground and were overcome by fear. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Get up and do not be afraid. And when they looked up, they saw no one except Jesus himself alone. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus ordered them, Tell no one about the vision until after the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. This is the word of the Lord. We just seem to know it. We can tell. When there has been that life-transforming experience. When you are in the presence of someone who has had a life-transforming experience, it's as if it works from the outside of the person to the inside core, and from the core of the person to the outside. You just know it when you're in their presence. It can be difficult to think about, but sometimes we have this sense, this knowledge when someone has gone through an incredible loss. Maybe it's in hospital quarter. Maybe it's through a message or call they've received. They've received news and instantly you can tell they're having a life-transforming experience by what they have just had to go through. Or possibly it's receiving news of a great disappointment, and the entire continence of a person becomes involved. And it is as if it works from the outside in and the inside out, and it affects the whole person. But of course, there are times of great joy when we have the same experience with someone, Uh, maybe a new birth. Maybe it's that opportunity that has finally come through for you, and there is that excitement, you know, you're with that person, and you, again, can just tell, just being in their presence, you can see it, see it you can feel it, something has changed, it's life transforming in them, and, and you are captivated. Their continence has, has literally changed. Now, we We even use some phrases to talk about this total person involvement. We talk about being in the depths of despair as if the whole person has been brought down. Or we talk about the joy and excitement of almost having an experience of not being able to keep your feet on the ground. Like you're being lifted right off the ground. Uh, We know what it is to have this kind of transformation experience. Social psychology actually has studied this, and you are wired to pick up on these kind of cues. You may not even realize it, but you are wired this way to observe those cues in different situations. It is said that when you go into a situation that seems not quite right, there there is something off, and there could be something that has the potential of being hazardous to you. When you go in that situation, you immediately start looking at the other people because you want to see how they're reacting. 
And you will base your reaction on how you see other people reacting in that situation. And you will know if this is dangerous, if this is hazardous by what you observe in their faces and, again, from their total personhood. Uh, you're, you're wired to pick up on this. Jesus invited a small core of disciples to go up on this mountain with him. He was really taking them to the edge of the world. He was taking this small group to the edge of temporal, material, finite life and crossing over into the eternal, the infinite. Um, They were right there at that intersection, right there on that edge. In rural America, in the Midwest and in the West, uh, you'll often hear people talking about small town life, and they talk about it this way, you know, where I live, it's not the end of the world, but you can see it from there. And that's a bit of the experience. They, they could see it from there. They, they could see the eternal as Jesus is transfigured right in front of them. And they had this overpowering realization that this was just not a teacher, just not a rabbi, just not a prophet. This was the presence of the living God, empowered right there before them. And they had the whole combination of those experiences. There was fear when they heard the voice of God. They were driven down, in a sense, because of the loss and fear of what was happening, control over the situation. But then there would be elation as to this experience that they've had. There on that mountain, being on the edge of the world, so to speak. We read from Exodus about Moses, and if you continue to read the book of Exodus, you come into a portion where Moses has to go back up the mountain and receive again the law. And it is said that when he came down from being up on the mountain that second time, that he literally glowed from being in the presence of God. That when he came down the mountain, he was glowing so brightly that people could not stand to be in his presence because of the experience he had had. This total transformational experience that he needed to wear a veil so that people could stand to be in his very real presence. I think about these disciples coming down from this mountain experience. See, they could not go back to where they've been. They would never be the same because of what happened on that mountain, being on the edge of the material world. And I almost imagine them going down a different way from the way they first went up because they would be so different. I think about the encounter with the other disciples, when they looked at them, those, those cues were firing off. What happened? What happened to you? You, you, are, you are different. You, you are totally different. Your continence has totally changed. What, what happened? What transpired on that, on that mountain? Now, they were, they were human. Uh, they would continue to have their moments. But those disciples that rather ragtag group of disciples would go on to change the world. And I believe that their empowering ability to do that started at that time. They were transformed themselves on that day. On Wednesday, we start the season of Lent. And I believe the season of Lent is a time when Jesus is inviting you to come along with him. Jesus is inviting you to come along and to have an experience that can truly be transformational. See, see it's all there in Lent, in Holy Week, in Easter. It's, it's all there uh, taking you to the edge of the material world, the finite, 
and in a sense looking over and experiencing the eternal and the infinite. It's, it's there, all of it, in the season of Lent. We'll even be telling stories in our Sunday services about people who had these life-transforming experiences to help you. But it's an invitation. It's an invitation to you. Are you willing to go with Jesus? Are you willing to go and have this kind of total life experience? See, it's, it's not a philosophy. These aren't some nice teachings that we may want to keep in mind. This is not just another prophet that has shown up. This is the very real presence of of the living God. It's the eternal now. We, we live in that space now. And we are empowered by being in that place. That, that is the invitation to, to come along, to be transformed. And then as the disciples, to know what we've been called to do for discipleship. Yeah, we may look at ourselves and feel like that ragtag group. What could I do? But see, it's through this kind of experience that we realize our call, what we're supposed to be about because of the empowering of the living God in our lives.